Hey guys, it's Queen Deja, and in today's video, I will be reacting to episode 8 of Hirogato Sky Pretty Care. So let's go ahead and get started in 3, 2, 1, go. Hmm. I can't wait to hear my baby. <laughs> I'll look an adorable always. Oh. Chirp, 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 chirp. <laughs> no, my God. He's so cute. Oh, my God. <laughs> I swear to God, Toei, if you do not take the opportunity to sell plush of him as a bird, as a baby bird. Come on now, he can like still, him and Owl can be the most <laughs> Oh my God. Um, I heard good things about this episode last night. Of course, I wasn't able to watch it because like I said, um, I had to babysit my cousin's dog with my own dog and then I had to go to work today. And my mom had to babysit them while I was at work. And then, of course, I did the same thing. And now the dog is finally gone. Um, but yesterday, between last night and today, hell on earth, these two really just don't um, mix well together. They can be in the same room together. But Minnie, their dog, gets afraid of Cody, my little small dog, which is nuts. But <laughs> it's hilarious there. My freaking nose is killing me. I want to die. Yeah, sure. Right? You didn't see anyone. You only saw L. Honestly, we really shouldn't be surprised. I mean, everything is in Skyland. Nice. Got jobs. <laughs> mm -mm, mm -mm.
Stop. Oh my god, that's so cute. Oh my god, why would he be a thief or a kidnapper? <laughs> huh? Damn, Sora. Oh! Let me guess he changed back into the bird. Okay. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. Once again, oh, you are you look cute? Oh, all I hear it's just my baby from my <laughs> Oh, Plus, I think you would freak out even more now. Oh, you know that he talks. <laughs> right? <laughs> Maybe he was just nervous. Oh my god, Sora. <laughs> Ma'am, don't bark. <laughs> but he's not suspicious. Oh my god. He bites his baby boy. No. Sora! Uh -oh. You know, I had like the strangest dream last night. <laughs> I would have laughed if she started. Girl, she ain't getting no sleep. Sora. Yeah. She would have felt like it would have been my fault. No, oh, baby. Uh, Sora. She walked off on her own.
Oh, so Airplanes? Oh, baby bird. Why? I think that's a beautiful dream. Oh, oh my god, look at it, look at it. <laughs> They're like the cutest little like penguins in a way, oh my god! Oh my god. He trying. Oh. Well, I mean, at least we're getting this answers like boom, quick, fast, and hurry. A feeling. It was really mainly about saving you. 
You tried, and that's how I feel. That's how you ended up there. Sense. Once again, he's so freaking cute. Oh my god. No. No, it's not funny. Mm hmm All right, female Deku. No, it's cute. <laughs> oh. oh, I thought, literally, for a moment, I thought they both were going to say the freaking catchphrase. Ma'ams. It would have been nice, but I get it. It's okay. Maybe next week. Yes. How it's gonna look when all four of them is there. Mm. Mm, 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 mm.
No, baby, no. <laughs> Charles said, I am going. I don't care. <laughs> oh, honey. Uh. I don't look at him, just look at him. He wants to go, but it's not his time yet. Next week! Next week! <laughs> that backflip, though. Like, yes, Sora. Yes. Don't tell me you're going to go after her. Whoa, hold up. Wait, because I was like, yeah, that's a little weird. And, and then I ain't look at the time on my freaking <laughs> video. <laughs> yeah, we got 20 something minutes a week. We got like this much. Okay, okay. Um, We're, we're going to talk about the Cure Grace thing situation in a moment. But still, he's so cute. Oh, my God. My baby boy. Oh, my God. Oh my god, he's just so freaking adorable. I can't. I'm going to die. The fact that we finally, next week, are going to be getting a boy, officially, a boy transformation in this. And there's obviously the middle finger cure <laughs> grace. I can't. Oh god. But, I mean, seriously, I'm super excited. I mean, this is the most anticipated thing for Pretty Cure in a nutshell right now. Everybody is really, really excited about next week. And I, I'm i like, I'm antsy. Thank God. I, I hope and pray. Hope and pray that I, I'm able to record it before I am on vacation next week. But, um, yeah. Toei, once again, merch of his Bird form. Subasa is cute. I love him. Look at him. Goodbye. He looks so handsome. Oh my god. It just it, it's just so once again. Interesting. It's just like all the other boys who are the unofficial, you know, cures of the Pretty Cure series and such. They all walk. So he couldn't run. Like, seriously. Just, I, I think it's just awesome as hell that we are finally, finally getting an official first boy. Jesus Christ, Light, I swear to God. Um, Light, I swear. Don't do it. Do not. Okay. I, I like I said in the the whole freaking year years uh, from beginning to Futariwa all the way to let's say even freaking last year. Never would have thought. Never would have thought that we would have finally had an official official one. I mean, just looking at all the guys in this show who do have a quote unquote magical boy transformation scene that we really only the only one that we technically got to see. You, I can't really count Picario as one because it's like he one minute, bam, bam, done. 
So it would more or less be Homare's um, ex-partner who um, with his little boyfriend at the same time too. Yeah, we all knew that. And that was kind of really the first official. But that right there in that moment when that did happen, when, uh, when it aired at that time in the year so long ago, um, I don't think any of us thought that that was the starting point of what this series could do. And... I mean, yes, as someone who has seen, like, the the Cutie High School Defense Club, which I like to call it the parody of Magical Boy anime and stuff, or just Magical Girl anime in a nutshell, where it's like they finally are doing it, but of course, it's, um, it, it's different. And so I'm glad that, you know, that also watched, so now that, once again, he could run. And really, I just want next week to come so bad. I want next Saturday to come so freaking bad because I don't think I can wait. It's too, that, like, despite every other show and, and with finales everywhere, this is the third. This? This is next level. Like, no. Like, oof. Big, big oof. I mean, but, I mean, the episode was good. Gorgeous. Loved it. He's so freaking cute. Like I said, Toei. Make merch of him. Make a plush so that I can add it to. I need a third. You can't see them because they're right. Th they're they're on the back, but they're there. I need a third. Okay. Yes. Um. Now the the one thing I saw last night with the Kira Gray situation of how Aoi Yuki sound a little higher in her pitch. Um. And I do get it. It's been about like a good what two years since Healing Good has aired and such. And I'm you know around that time she was recording like a lot of stuff. Um. But yeah, like even hearing it then, like hearing it last night and hearing it again tonight, oh, it's off. It, it's really, really off. So I don't blame her because I've seen the same thing with like some English um, actors where like one of my other favorite male actors, like he was in a role and he hadn't played that character in a hot minute. So when the final game of the series came out, um, I remember him saying in like a freaking uh, a panel that he could not remember what voice he used so he used like a completely different voice for him and everybody was like was something wrong in, in ish but I felt like yeah for for Aoyuki because she plays so many roles and you got to think of everything that she was doing the year that like of course the year of Aoyuki um everything else she was doing when that was airing everything after and currently now so like yeah that girl you know getting the coin yes but Ish. So I am also hoping that when, hopefully, when the All-Star movie does come out later on this year, that especially for all of these other cures, they're all able to go back or whoever is going to be directing it and giving them the cues and stuff, they're all able to still go back and to hear the voices that they did for each character and such. So then everybody has a mindset of, okay, oh, I did this or oh, I did that. Because, yeah, for some of these freaking women, it's been years since they came back to some of these roles. And so it's going to be very interesting, especially when we get into more um, freaking all the way from happiness charge with a uh, freaking, I, I don't remember her name. The main one of, of, of happiness, that pink one. When we get to her, lovely, care lovely, lovely all the way to cure black. That's going to be very interesting to see how their voices sound similar to when they were when they first got the role versus now but i mean yes i'm really excited for next week i love the fact that we ended on the cliffhanger even though i don't like cliffhangers like that but still they ended it in a good way where it's like yes he is coming next week be excited af <laughs> but other than that guys that is my reaction view towards episode eight of hit on sky pretty here if you guys enjoyed it please give me a like it really helps me out also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day. Join Master Squad. And of course, I will see you guys officially all next Saturday or, you know, Saturday coming up. And then also for the majority of the weekend. Um, well, next Saturday for episode 9. And majority of the weekend for the continuation of Pretty Cure Weekend. But until then, I will see you guys all next time. Bye.